Welcome back everyone. Today on deck we're doing a ballistics test, but we're doing a few different rounds through the shield pistol. Obviously the shield is its 3.1 inch barrel. You're going to lose a lot of velocity and a lot of folks are uh, wondering just how premium defensive ammunition is going to do coming out of that short barrel. So that's what we're going to try to show here today. Here are the four loads that we're going to be testing out today. We've got the uh, Federal Tactical Bonded 165 grain, Classic Spear Gold Dot. Uh, Hornady Critical Duty 175 grain and the Federal HST 180 grain. Now I have uh, ammo tests done on all of these rounds individually through full size guns. So if you want more detailed information than what you're going to get in this video on those rounds, please go ahead and check out those videos uh, on each individual round. But what I'm going to try to do here is do a kind of a quick overview so that way you guys have an idea of how certain rounds will perform in that short barrel. So what we're going to do next is step over to the chronograph, then we're going to uh, shoot these rounds into the gel block and come back and uh, let you know what we found. We're going to fire two rounds of each, starting at the top with gold dot and finishing with the uh, federal on the bottom. So two rounds of each, distance of about 10 feet. There you see the entrance hole, we had expansion almost immediately. Moving on down, the bullet came to rest right there. Tip of the bullet is right at 15 inches. You can see two wound tracks there. The top one was one that exited the gel block, so look at the bottom wound track. Notice it does open up immediately. Pretty good uh, wounding from three to eight inch, good permanent wound cavity. Moving on down, it settles down in the block. And there you have the leading edge of the bullet at 23 and a half inches. The lowest wound track is the tactical bonded. As you see there, it came to rest, the leading edge just at 11 and a half inches. Right below that tape measure, as you look at it, is the wound track of the gold dot round. You can see it opened right up all the way down to about the six inch mark, and then it started to settle down a little bit. I'll move the tape measure out of the way. It settles down, and it came to rest right there between the gel blocks, so about 16 and a half inches. As you can see, we have some very high speed, high tech graphics here, but the information is the same regardless of the low tech that we're using here, guys. Um, as you can see, the big kind of takeaways, if you will, uh, the tactical bonded over here, because it expanded so much and so quickly, it had uh, three quarters of an inch of expansion, but that caused uh, it to penetrate a little bit less than the rest of the rounds. Um, so for those of you guys that are looking for that, and you know, you're very concerned about over penetration, it may be something to look at. On the opposite end of the spectrum, with the 175 grain uh, critical duty, we saw exactly the same thing we saw in our full-size gun test. Not exactly, but very similar results with a lot of penetration, not a lot of expansion, and a lot of retained weight. And that round was designed that way, as we talked about in that video, with the uh, flex lock technology um, designed to kind of prevent it from expanding too, too much. So that way it could perform well in all the FBI's barriers. Over on the right side of your screen here, you have the HST and the gold dots, which are sort of the standard that most modern ammo is judged by. Gold dot had a little less expansion, a little bit more penetration. The HST had a little bit more expansion, a little less penetration, but good retained weight from both rounds, good expansion from both rounds, good penetration. I mean, there's a reason those two rounds really kind of are the standard that other rounds are uh, judged by. There's other good rounds out there, some that we didn't test today. And you know, if I didn't test your round here today, I apologize and maybe we'll get to it one of these days. But I just wanted to give folks a uh, sort of an idea of how, how this ammo would actually perform out of such a short barrel. But 
those are the numbers guys as we found them here in the test I skipped the actual measurements and everything that we normally do in our ammo test just to kind of condense it down and not make this video 20 minutes long but if you guys have any questions about this test or anything else that you've seen here on the channel you can always post below in the comment section as always you can also post over at my Facebook page but thanks for watching guys I hope you learned something and uh, thanks for subscribing if you haven't subscribed please go ahead and click that subscribe button and I hope to see y'all in the next video